step into the captivating realm of Art Explained, a sanctuary where art's rich tapestry of history, stories, and education unfurls, beckoning all who yearn for its embrace. William Adolphe Bouguereau, a French academic painter, lived from November 30th, 1825 to August 19th, 1905. In his realistic genre paintings, he used mythological themes, making modern interpretations of classical subjects with an emphasis on the female human body. During his life, he enjoyed significant popularity in France and the United States, was given numerous official honors, and received top prizes for his work. His life was filled with both success and sorrow. He lost his wife and several of his children. How and why? We will find out the details in this video. Additionally, you will find out what happened to his fiance of 19 years. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel by selecting the subscribe button below. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you can be among the first to be notified of our new videos. Thank you. As the quintessential salon painter of his generation, he was reviled by the Impressionist avant-garde. By the early 20th century, Bouguereau and his art fell out of favor with the public, due in part to changing tastes. In the 1980s, a revival of interest in figure painting led to a rediscovery of Bouguereau and his work. He completed 822 known paintings, but the whereabouts of many others are still unknown. William Adolphe Bouguereau was born in La Rochelle, France, on November 30, 1825, into a family of wine and olive oil merchants. The family moved to saint martin de ray in 1832. Another sibling, Kitty, was born in 1834. At the age of 12, Bouguereau went to Mortagne sur Gironde to stay with his uncle Eugène, a priest. It was there that he developed a love of nature, religion, and literature. In 1839, he was sent to study for the priesthood at a Catholic college in Pont. There, he was taught to draw and paint by Louis Sage, who had studied under Angre. Bouguereau reluctantly left his studies to return to his family now residing in Bordeaux. There, he met a local artist, Charles Marionneau, and attended the Municipal School of Drawing and Painting in November 1841. Bouguereau also worked as a shop assistant, hand-coloring lithographs and making small paintings that were reproduced using chromolithography. He was soon the best pupil in his class and decided to become an artist in Paris. To fund the move, he sold portraits, 33 oils in three months. All were unsigned and only one has been traced. In 1845, he returned to Mortagne to spend more time with his uncle. He arrived in Paris in March 1846 at the age of 20. Bouguereau became a student at the École des Beaux-Arts, to supplement his formal training in drawing, he attended anatomical dissections and studied historical costumes and archaeology. He was admitted to the studio of Francois Edouard Picot, where he studied painting in the academic style. Dante and Virgil in Hell, completed in 1850, was an early example of his neoclassical works. Academic painting placed the highest status on historical and mythological subjects, and Bouguereau was determined to win the Prix de Rome. The young artist entered the Prix de Rome contest in April 1848. Soon after he began to work, there were riots in Paris, and Bouguereau enrolled in the National Guard. After an unsuccessful attempt to win the prize, he applied to compete again in 1849, 
After competing for 106 days, he again failed to win. His third attempt commenced unsuccessfully in April 1850 with Dante and Virgil. But five months later, he heard he had won a joint first prize for Shepherd's Fine Zenobia on the banks of the Araxes. Although he had a strong admiration for all traditional art, he particularly revered Greek sculpture, Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, Michelangelo, Titian, Rubens, and Delacroix. In April 1854, he left Rome and returned to La Rochelle. In 1856, William began living with one of his models, Nellie Monchablon, a 19-year-old from Lillon Rigaud. Living together out of wedlock, the pair kept their liaison a secret. They had three children, Henriette, Georges, and Jean. Ten years later, the couple quietly married on May 24, 1866. Many had assumed that they were already married. Unfortunately, eight days later, their daughter, Jeanne, died from tuberculosis. While they were mourning the loss of their daughter, the couple went to La Rochelle, and Bouguereau made a painting of Jeanne that he completed in 1868. Their fourth child, Adolphe, otherwise known as Paul, was born in October 1868. Their other son, George, suffered from ill health when he was 15 years old, so his mother took him away from the bad air of Paris. However, he died on June 19, 1875. Nellie had a fifth child in 1876, Maurice, but her health was declining and the doctors suspected that she had also contracted tuberculosis. His wife, Nellie, died on April 3, 1877, and baby Maurice died two months later. The artist planned to marry Elizabeth Jane Gardner, a pupil whom he had known for 10 years, but his mother was opposed to the idea. Soon after Nellie's death, she made Bouguereau swear he would not remarry within her lifetime. After his mother's death, and after a 19-year engagement, he and Gardner married in Paris in June 1896. His wife continued to work as his private secretary and helped to organize the household staff. His son Paul contracted tuberculosis in early 1899. Paul, his stepmother, and Bouguereau went to Montan in the south of France. When the stay was prolonged, the artist found a room in which to paint. Paul died at his father's house in April 1900, at the age of 32. Bouguereau had outlived four of his five children, but only Henriette outlived him. Bouguereau died on August 19, 1905. Elizabeth, who was with her husband till the end, died in Paris in January 1922. We extend a warm invitation to you to join us on this enlightening journey of discovery and appreciation. Your support is invaluable to us, and we eagerly anticipate sharing more with you in our upcoming videos. Thank you for being a part of Art Explained. See you in the following video.